Hello everyone, my name is Unsbox Logic, and welcome to a game called Blind Date. Uh, I have no idea where I downloaded this from, it was just on my computer. Um, if I find a link, I'll leave the link in the description as usual. But, um, we are going on a blind date after months of loneliness. Don't mess it up. Okay, so here we are on the date, and we have a few things to say. The why do I- why do these people look so weird? Where are their arms? And they only- it seems like they only have, like, little- little diamonds, or little white blocks for feet. Um. oh good, you made it. We've got hey and hello. Um. okay, so, A, B, or C? I'm just gonna say hello for now. It's very polite. It's good to see you. Alright, just thought I'd turn the music down a bit. Sorry I'm late, I had to take the bus here be because my car's bro been broken down. Happens to the best of us. I suppose it does. So tell me more about yourself. What do you do for work? Oh, is this hair asking me? Okay, I work as a contractor, it pays well. I work as a massage therapist. I work as a software engineer. Software engineer sounds cool. Sounds right up my alley, kind of. That must make you a lot of money. You know what they say, lady is like a man with a huge paycheck. Fuck off, fucking the gold digger. The woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. It's been a while, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I completely understand. It's been a while for me too. Frankly, my friends had to convince me to come here. It's been a very lonely year. Your friends had to convince you to come here? That makes me feel a lot better about myself. So what's your name? Um, <laughs> we've got Mike, Chris, and Josh. Wow, that's funny. I had a, I had a friend in high school called Mike. Um, and two of my closest friends are currently called Chris and Josh, so I'm just gonna go for Mike purely because Chris and Josh would say something about, you know, why didn't you pick me, or, you know, so I'm just gonna pick Mike, so both of you can shut up. Well, Mike, you have a wonderful name, so tell me, are you from around here? Yep, I grew up here. I've lived here my whole life. I love it. The air, the trees, and the people. It gets awful lonely out here, though. Who was your last lover? Excuse me? <laughs> Pardon? What? I'll just say, what? <laughs> I would be like, what? You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept with? Oh, wow. I don't, I don't really feel comfortable answering that. It's been a very long time, if it's really that important for you to know. And then just remain silent. Okay, we're well, not going to remain silent. I don't understand that answer, though. It's been a very long time. So, does that mean he can't remember? The woman lets out a long, almost apologetic sigh. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. Yeah, laughs nervously. It's alright, I've been out of commission myself for quite some time. <laughs> Thank you. The woman offers a weak smile. I do appreciate you taking me out. This is a really nice restaurant. Tell me, Mike, do you cook? Ha! <laughs> uh, almost never. I was never really good at it. Yeah, that is me. Oh, well, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. So how's Emma doing? Who the hell is Emma? That's, it's kind of weird because I have an ex called Emma. Who? Haha, <laughs> do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? Oh, my mother. Oh, I thought it was going to be my ex. I thought that would have been awkward for me. Um, I know her, but how do you? Excuse me, how do you even know my mother's name? Yeah, I, I know her, <laughs> but how, how do you know her? The woman pauses for a long while. You hadn't mentioned her before? It's kind of weird. Seriously, how do you know my mother's name? It's freaking weird. The woman's eyes grow shifty, as if she's thinking intently. I'm so sorry. The girl at work told me about her. Apparently your mother used to work for the company. Oh my, you must think I'm some kind of creep or something. <laughs> um, I suppose that makes sense. No big deal, I guess. It was a little rude to bring it up at dinner like that. Oh boy, that's a relief. I suppose that makes sense. No big deal, I guess. Oh, thank God. I really am out of it today. Please forgive me. Why are you here? <laughs> Existentially or situationally? I'm beginning to question that. Well, I've been trying to go on a date. That one. <laughs> Situationally. But that's not quite what I meant. Why are you here? Why did you feel alone enough to come on this date? Why are you acting like this? It's weird. <laughs> You've lived for what? You've lived alone for what? Three years? Six months? Twenty-three days? 
God, I can't imagine how tired you must feel, living in that lonely, co lonely condo. Seriously, what the hell? God, you're pathetic. Did you really think going on a random blind date was going to fix everything? I've seen the way you sleep, the way you drink, the way you pick your nose when nobody's looking. Is this... is this like his ex? He went on a blind date with his ex or something? I don't need to take this. I can see you shaking all the way from the front door. Nervous as all hell, I can see. Do you really think anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? I just don't want to be alone anymore, it hurts so much, no? Please, I can't take this, why are, you, why are you saying these things? Because this is exactly what you deserve. You hate yourself and everyone around you, and yet reserve the right to feel lonely. For the love of God, stop. I can't take it anymore, I feel so alone, I feel so empty inside. For the love of God, stop, woman. You've been dead inside for years, and you don't have the fucking balls to end it already. I've seen you, staring at a piece of rope, hesitating at the top of a building. God, you're pathetic. I needed help, just a little bit of help. You need to realise the truth. You need to realise that you are nothing. Completely and utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of your life. You're right. And you're a whiny little squirt whose sole purpose is to be unhappy. Yet, here you are, unaccepting of your own fate. I honestly don't even know why I bothered to come at all. I can't believe- yeah, I can't believe I came here tonight. I'm sorry, Mike. I feel your pain. And it is coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so harrowing. You seem to lose all sense of being human. It hurts to look in your eyes and see only pain. On a blind date of all things. I just want to be happy. Everybody wants something, Mike. And frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. What? <laughs> this was a mistake, Mike. You shouldn't have come here. You should have just stayed at home and ordered pizza like you had originally planned. Let's just sigh. <sighs> I was never going to be the one to fix these problems. But you won't? No, I won't. I'm not going to fix your problems, Mike. I'm just going to make them worse. I'm not the solution. People like me are the problem. People like you are the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. I followed you for several years. You were my obsession, and I've never seen someone so unhappy. Wow. Is there any hope of happiness for me? So, so what do I do? I don't know. That's something you're gonna have to figure out on your own. And yes, I mean it. On your own. You simply aren't fit for a relationship. You had to rely on a blind date to be here tonight. Some woman you've never met, yet who knows you very, very well. Um, have you been following me? Yes, for your entire life. What? God, you're a mess. I really shouldn't have come. You really shouldn't have come. I'd say I'd made things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before I came here. It's just who I am. I know. However, you need to realise that you can never go back to those things. There's nothing you can do. You're, quite frankly, destined to be alone forever. Yeah, a girl may come into your life every once in a while, but it's just going to be a reminder of what a piece of pathetic swine you are. Does it ever end? No. Plain and simple. You're barren. The desolate life you lead is barren. What the hell's going on with the background? Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because, oh boy, it should. Because you are alone. Completely and utterly, utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's lonely. And it's just generally a mess. It's a barren desert. No life, no love. It's just dry, lonely land. Land. Blech. So, in the end, when faced with your loneliness, faced with the fact that you're wasting your time, what are you going to do? 
I'm gonna leave. Whoa, she's gone. What? I'm going to leave. What? It was all in a. It was all in his head. No. What? What? Hey, what? I guess he's not coming. What? 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 So it was all in his head. Oh wow, that makes sense. So it wasn't her saying it. It was technically himself speaking to himself before he went on the date. And that's why she just said, he. I guess he's not coming. When we made the choice to stay or leave, we were making the choice to stay or leave our house. Oh my god. Okay, it makes me want to play it again. You know what? I will play it again, just on a different day. But, oh my, that blew my mind. That was such a good game. I can't wait to see the other endings. And Oh my god. <laughs> says here, thank you so much for playing. Be sure to share with your friends and fans. Well... I'll leave the link in the description for this game so you guys can go on and play it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's such a mindfuck. But <laughs> I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.